हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्लीन कोडर यूट्यूब चैनल सो इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टिल नाउ प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एज आई मेक दिस इंटरव्यू स्टाइल ट्यूटोरियल फॉर लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम्स वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन एट नाइन डॉट एट एर ए सो फॉर द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट लेट्स रेफर द लीड कोड वेबसाइट ली सो we are given an array we are supposed to return the array to the right by k steps where k is non negative okay so let's check the example number 1 we are given a nums array and k is 3 and we are supposed to right rotate this by three positions so what would happen is like uh, once you will rotate then 6 would come here 5 would come here like this and 7 would come at first position second time you rotate 7 would come to second position third time you rotate Then would come to third position, so seven should be here. So this is reflected in the output. So this is this he has shown in the rotation also in the explanation part. So this is the example one. Example two, you are you can go through on your own for better clarity. Let's check the constraints. Array length is between one to ten to power five, and individual elements are like negative two to to power thirty one to 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 power thirty one minus one. So they are in the integer range. And the parameter k is between zero to ten to power five. Okay, so ten to power five is a really, really great, like really, really large value. If array length is let's say three, and ten to power five is the value of k, then uh, you need to like do some kind of work to map the value of k to some equivalent lower value. That I'll tell you how you can do using modulus operator. So let's check the follow-up comments. So what he has mentioned is try to come up with as many solutions as you can, and there are at least three different ways to solve this problem. Okay, he is giving us hints, and could you do it in place with O of one extra space? We will. We'll, we are going to try this. So let's start this on our whiteboard. Okay, so like as I have told, this is the input array. And they will give us some uh, value, and we are supposed to uh, rotate the array by that much position. So let's move to the uh, next slide to check our first strategy, which you can use to uh, uh, rotate this uh, array elements towards the right. So the first approach which you can use is uh, use uh, nested loops and move element one by one to right. So Time complexity in this case would be O of n into k, and space complexity would be O of one. So let me demonstrate to you uh, quickly how you can uh, use this approach. So considering this is my array, okay. let's say there are four elements in this array. Let's take five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So what you can do is let's say k is three. Okay. So what you can do is uh, you can right rotate this by one position. Like what you'll do is you will put five here and you will move all the elements one position forward. Like this, when you will do this for the first time, you will get this. Okay. Five. One. Two, three, four. Now again, you do this. Put this here and move each of them one position. What you'll get, you'll get is this. Okay. What are you getting? You are getting four, five, one, two, three. Now do this again. Okay. What you are getting is. We're getting this right. Three, four, five, one. So, like the number of iterations in this case are k, right? These are k iterations. K iterations. So you can write a nested for loop in which the outermost loop runs k time and innermost uh, like shiftings are n. So the time complexity would be O of n into k. 
and space complexity is over one. So this is our uh, kind of brute force solution which you, we can uh, give to the interviewer to get started with the uh, solution. So uh, let's uh, check a little advanced version of this uh, solution in the approach to okay for approach to what we can do is we can make an aux array with double the size of original array so let me tell you the time complexity and space complexity up front so time complexity in this approach is o of n space complexity is o of 2 into 1 let me tell you what you can let's take the same example in the previous case okay so this is the input array given to us 1 2 3 4 5 and case 3 Okay, what I'm telling you is make a array double the size of this array. Okay. How many elements this would contain? This would have 10 elements. Okay, so what you do, you just copy these elements here. And once again you copy these elements here. Okay. So what elements would come as this? Now start from beginning again. Okay. One, two, three, four. So let's say he has told you to right rotate this by k. Okay. Right rotate this by k. So uh, what would happen is basically when you will right rotate once, you are starting from here. Okay. When you will right rotate again, you are starting from here. When you right rotate again, you are starting from here. So these are the elements. Okay. These are the elements, five elements, which you should return in this case. Three, four, five, one, two, one, two only, right? Uh, this is first time right rotated, this is second time and third time. Okay. Okay. These are the elements which you should return in this case. Let's confirm this with our brute force output of the previous approach. Yeah, three four five one two. Three four five one two. So like this you can write a really really uh, good algorithm similar to the approach I have told. So time complexity would be O of n in this case. And space complexity would be O of two into n. So time complexity you can also uh, say that time complexity is O of k, but again k could be proportional to n. So we are directly saying that time complexity is O of n. So this is our uh, second approach which you can give to the interviewer while solving this problem in interview setting. So now let's uh, have a look at the third approach which you can uh, give to the interviewer. So this approach is a little tricky but it is a really really good optimization. So the first brute force approach our time complexity was uh, o of n into k like o, n, o, of, o of n square roughly and space complexity was o of 1. So in the second approach we did better our time complexity was o of n and space complexity was also o of 2n which is as good as o of n. And in the third approach we are going to do something more better and we are going to take the time complexity to o of n and space complexity to o of one okay complexity to o of one let's see what this algorithm says and then we'll try and also for better understand step one of this algorithm says rotate k elements from the end of the array so from end rotate k elements this is step one and then there is step two rotate the rest of the elements from starting and leaving last k elements okay the elements which you have rotated in step one you need to leave those elements now let's check the step three rotate complete array okay these three rotations you know you need to complete so let's check the time complexity time complexity is o of n in this approach and space complexity is o of one let's just check like assuming this is the first test case which is given to us as example so this is the input array and k is given to be 3 assuming this so what you do you write you rotate these three rightmost elements so these elements you just rotate so what would happen 
once you rotate these three elements what would be the output output would be seven six five okay write this here so what you do now this is step one this is step two this is step three okay in step two what you do you leave these elements three elements and you uh, rotate these four elements from the beginning okay so what would be the output output would be four three two okay. our step one is complete step two is complete now what we need to do is we need to rotate this complete array. okay let's do that rotation also or output in that case would be 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's confirm this from the uh, sample input given. Sample input output given. 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is the correct output. So, uh, now you will argue like how we logically reached to do this algorithm like this i would say is a little tricky but once you take certain examples and uh, you convince yourself that this always gives the correct answer like you will appreciate this logic as it is the most optimized solution and really really easy to understand so once these three steps are accomplished we will get the output for this uh, problem so now let's move to the code walkthrough part like the code which i have submitted for this it put problem for better understand so this is the code which i used to submit now i'll walk you through step by step so this is the rotate function this input array this is k okay k positions on the right we need to make rotation so if array dot length is one one length array can't be rotated like it's already rotated by any positions k so we are directly returning in that case so this is really really important step if you want to optimize your code as i have told in the constraint section only that k could be 10 to power 5 and array length could be 3 so in that case you need to take modulus of that like you need to uh, contain the value of k according to the array of length so this we are doing uh, basically that so once you have reached this step these are pretty straightforward the, this this step is like uh, rotating rightmost k elements, right most k elements. Okay, this step is rotating all elements, all elements except rightmost k. Okay, rightmost k. And this is total array rotation. Total array rotation. Okay. These are simple call to uh, rotate function. Now this I'll explain you what what we are doing. This this simple while loop. We are like assuming this is the input array. Okay. One two three. Four. What is the rotate logic? I have started my pointer from here. I have started my J pointer from here. Okay now till the time i overtakes j or like the, these two crosses through each other i am just swapping elements of both these arrays okay four three two one this is the output and this is reverse okay this while loop is just doing that and we are doing three constants so let's uh, confirm the time complexity and space complexity time complexity is proportional to three order of three into n like there are three times we are doing rotation so this is as good as o of n only space complexity space complexity is o of one because we are not using any extra space so this was all i wanted to talk about this problem if you have any doubts or you want to add something please feel free to add that in the comment section now i just want to make a humble request to all of you to please subscribe to my channel this is what my youtube analytics says like 99 percent of the people watch the tutorial but they don't subscribe to my channel i don't know why 
like if I am making any mistake or if I am missing something or if you feel like my explanations are not accurate, please add that in the comment section. Otherwise, I will highly appreciate you to please support me in making this channel uh, more uh, knowledgeable and more helpful and please subscribe this channel. It really motivates me. So this is all I wanted to talk about for this problem. You can uh, follow on Instagram also to stay updated. The Instagram handle of Clean Coder is Clean Coder Community. So you can follow that on Instagram also. So thanks a lot for watching this video.